Hi, and welcome back to Coffee Corner. On today's episode, I actually invited a special guest. His name is Mikhail, and he's the social media strategist here at Story Me. And he's going to help you joining to share some video news on all your favorite social platforms. I'll cover a case about a company using video and social in a super cool and effective way. And I'll end with some tips and tricks on how to take your social media marketing videos to the next level. So grab a coffee, press F for full screen mode, and enjoy. <music> So, here's what's new in video marketing. And video on social. Like I said earlier, this is Mikhail. Hi. And he's our go-to guy for all things push and track with video on social. And today he's going to share some updates about these social platforms and video. So Mikhail, what are some updates? Exactly, because there have been some really cool video updates lately. First one being on Facebook. So Facebook has been testing out a new feature that highlights the location of where your video is most popular right now but it only seems to be for page admins and select users only, so we might have to wait a bit longer. Also new on Facebook, when you upload a video, you can choose a thumbnail from any part of the video right now, whereas before, you only got a select number of options. And of course, you can still always upload a custom thumbnail should you not want it to be a shot from within the video. Another exciting video update on Facebook is polls with GIFs. Now you can use GIFs to vote instead of a standard typed answer. And this is super cool, and we've said this before on Coffee Corner, but this is Facebook yet again adding more and more video to your newsfeed. Speaking of polls, on Instagram, you can now add polls to your Instagram stories. It's a nice feature that gives you extra insights and engages your follower. You can even see who voted what. Another change I noticed, and maybe viewers have noticed as well, is now when you scroll through Instagram on your newsfeed, videos autoplay with sound once users have turned the sound on in their app. Yep, this update could mean that more videos will be played with sound on which is more beneficial for businesses and advertisers. Snapchat also added new things to its platform, one being educational courses. So if you want to try out Snapchat ads, this one might be for you. The new set of educational courses is called Explore, and they created it to help marketeers get the most out of the platform. So if your target audience is on Snapchat, be sure to check it out. Snapchat is not only helping to educate its advertisers, but it's also opened up new advertising options. Snapchat is taking its World Lenses augmented reality feature and it's opening them up to brands. And it's kicked this off with opening it up to Warner Bros. And Bud Light. But in my opinion, nothing will beat the hot dog dude. The last update I have is with Vimeo. They finally added the live streaming capabilities to their platform, which is quite a logical move since live video has gained a lot of momentum. You put on live events like this, this, or this. You have the stresses of event logistics on top of managing the production. Wouldn't it be nice to have a simple, professional video platform for live? Oh wait, now that exists. It's Vimeo Live. And many platforms have added the live feature as well, like Periscope for Twitter, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and YouTube Live. So it's about time that Vimeo included the feature as well. Thank you, Mikhail, for coming on and sharing your updates and insights with us. Anytime. Now I'm going to dive into a company video case. Today's case is Noor. They're a well-established food brand of Unilever, and they face a challenge of engaging with millennials. They created flavor profile quizzes after they found out that people who share favorite flavors have a tendency to be more attracted to each other. And of course, they created video content to share all of this. Hi. <laughs> How long have you been single for? Six months now. Three years now. Why? I don't know. It's a, that's a complicated question. On top of that, they created snack videos for the different platforms they are planning to push it on, encouraging millennials to take and share their flavor profile quizzes. What makes this case so great is that they really reached millennials where they are on social and video platforms. And they took the video platforms into account with various video formats. Now time for some tips and tricks on how to take your social media marketing videos to the next level. Start with a plan. When it comes to creating a video, sometimes the before process can be not as in depth or you're lacking a plan. And because video takes time and money, you shouldn't just go with any idea. So really think about the goal, your audience, and where the video will end 
end up before you ever create a single video. Consider the platform. It was mentioned in the last tip and that's because it is super important. No two platforms are the exact same. How users interact on them and how content is pushed to users varies. So it's super important to keep this in mind as it can affect the style and type of video you create. Distribution is key. Once your video goes live, of course you can expect some organic traffic, but don't rely on this alone. This is the time to put money behind your video to reach the right audience and drive traffic to you. Encourage interactions. The more people engage with your video, the more it appears in timelines and suggestions, ultimately increasing the success of your video. So encourage interactions, ask questions, create conversations, or even include clickable call to actions. If you want another way to stay up to date on all things video marketing and video strategy, then join our Facebook page. It's called Chief Video Officer. That's it for this episode of Coffee Corner. If you like this episode and you like what we do, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right here. And if you want to check out the last episode of Coffee Corner, you can click it right here. And if you just want to know about video marketing in general, you can click this video right there. Bye.